Now this question 26 is based on heating or thermal effects of current. Here they are saying you have a filament bulb. Rating of the bulb has been given 500 watt and 100 volt. So you can calculate the resistance of the bulb. Like P is equal to V square by R. So you can calculate resistance V square by P. 20 ohm around. This is to be used in a 230 volt main supply. So here the situation is that you have the bulb. You understand? This is the bulb. So they are giving you the resistance of 20 ohm. How did you calculate this 20 ohm? Like you are saying R is equal to V square by P, isn't it? So V is 100, 100 is square upon 500. So this is 20 ohm. Is to be used in a 230 volt main supply. The so supply is larger, you see 230 volt. But it, it can at the most consume 100 volt. So in series, they are saying resistance R is connected and uh, this bulb is working perfectly like consuming 500 watt this is possible only if 100 volt is being consumed here not more than that so this rest of the volt 130 volt will be consumed by this resistance R you understand the entire picture now you see potential drop is indirect ratio of the resistance because the same current is flowing through that so if it is 1.3 times so this will also become 1.3 times so resistance is 1.3 times 20 so that makes it 26 ohm so i will be looking for 26 ohm that is option 3 so this is the correct option for question 26 so i will be having answer as option 3 okay so now let us switch over to next question that is question 27 This uh, question 27 is based on uh, magnetic effects of current and very standard question. It says that a long wire carrying a steady current is bent into a circular loop of one turn. You are supposed to calculate the magnetic field at the center of the loop. You are using the standard formula here mu naught ni by 2r. n is number of turns, i is current, r is the radius of that. The magnetic field at the center of the loop is b. Now it is bent into a circular coil of n turns like same wire has been recoiled into n turns. So turns will be increasing and effectively the radius will also be decreasing remember that because the length is same. So if turns is becoming n times the radius will become r by n you understand the magnetic field at the center of this coil will be so new magnetic field here the turn was 1 in the first case turn was 1 and now in the second case the number of turns is n and I am saying that the radius is also decreased r by n will be the new radius so it is n square mu naught i by 2r so what is the magnetic field this is n square b n square times the original magnetic field so I find the option 2 will be the appropriate option for this I will be marking answer 2 for this that is the answer to question 27 now let us switch over to next question that is question 28 